You forget he's up and running. Here are five best global commands, global settings commands that you need to know of. All right, so let's start. We will start with the host name. You probably need to change the host name to the specific place or the task that your Foligate does. So let's just open up the command line, config system. Now you can play around with system settings and you can also use the system global settings. So here we will use the config system global. Let's just do that and let's set the host name There it is to something else. Currently it is 48 VM. So let's change it to 40 tip. Let's just end it and let's squeeze the window size and refresh the page. And there we have it. 40 tip is our host name. All right, and the second command, again, system global command, is the admin idle timeout. That is the time that your system, your FortiGate, will not log off, even if you didn't do anything. All right, so let's open up the command line and again use the config system global. And let's set it to five minutes. All right. All right, now if we move uh, to the system settings of the administrators, we can see that the idle timeout is indeed five minutes. Again, don't use more than 10 or 15 minutes. All right, now the next setting is crucially important. It is the number of retries that your administrators get once it entered the wrong password. Now, uh, you can set the threshold, the uh, number of retries, and you can set the duration, the time that it will be locked. All right, so let's just open up the command line, config system global again, and here we will set the uh, duration first. Let's just move over and let's set it to 45 minutes. The next one is the number of free tries. So it is called the set admin lookup uh, threshold and we will set it only to three times. It is a best practice policy to use on your 48. So let's just end it and there we have it. All right, another global setting is the language that you use and the theme itself. Now you can do it also on the graphical user interface, but we will do it using the command line. Again, config system global. And here we can set the language. Now you can play around with the different languages that are available. We are using the English language. And here also we have the different themes. So let's just that theme. All right, let's end it. And let's refresh our 40 gate. And there we have it. Another, a different theme, which looks um, quite nice. All right, now the next and last command that global command that we will look into is the SSL uh, version. Now, when you use encrypted traffic, both sides uh, actually negotiate. And uh, if you're using uh, at least TLS 1.1 or TLS 1.2 or 1.3 um, version, then the other side needs to support it whenever it connects to your 40 gate. All right, so let's just open up the command line. Again, config system global. And from here, we will set the SSL minimal protocol version. Uh, now, this is um, an evaluation license uh, which doesn't support higher encryption, but if you will play around 
um, with the uh, tab key, you will see that you have different options, either TLS 1.1, TLS 1.2, TLS 1.3. Uh, be aware that not all services support 1.2. Three. So uh, the default here in your 48 is 1.2. And the last thing, whenever you wish to play with the different um, global settings, press the get command and you will see all the options that are available.